Hi there. So I'm shooting this small video in conjunction with Paulette working behind us making platinum palladium prints. So um, we're at the midpoint of uh, the CCOPE student competition printing and um, I'm just going to show you a few that are either in progress or finished. Um, and basically these are the prints that you see hanging in the gallery section. So what these are all digital files supplied by the students to us through the FTP site. We have no idea um, what the original capture is, but it doesn't matter. You can see it could, it could be an iPhone, it could be anything. And some are better than others. And it's not the student's fault. It would be more likely the fact that they're not accustomed to shooting for platinum palladium. But as you can see, uh, we have a pretty nice representation of the image on screen. And, you know, we have the benefit of a very permanent print process. So, these are the films that make the uh, platinum negatives. I, I'm sorry, the platinum prints. And basically, it's a transparent overhead material that has a layer on it that accepts ink really nice. And we have uh, made these profiles for this film and the platinum process. So basically what you see on screen should print out as what you see on palladium. And as you learn how to work through the materials a bit more and how to work with Photoshop, you should be able to, you know, to say that, for example, on this one here, I want detail in the highlight region of this young girl's dress, but I also want to have nice black detail. And by knowing your numbering system in Photoshop and knowing how the pro process ends out, it's like any inkjet process, it's like any uh, silver process that we do. If you can control the numbers at the front end, you can then output onto film that has been uh, profiled for this film and this paper, and you can start predictably um, understanding where highlights are going to be, where shadows are going to be, and it'll make your life really easy and that of your students. So, Pictorico film, and here's another one. I happen to be showing you two images that are shot on black background. This is another one. And uh, once again, it's um, on this overhead transparency material. We do at uh, my shop, we do process onto silver film, continuous tone film, and you're gonna see that today as well, uh, some of the processes. And we use that material for the more critical processes like silver, where if you lay down tone, uh, you have no, uh, it, it's very critical that, you know, you, you, you step off each step going down. Platinum plating is a little bit more forgiving, but on silver it's not. So if you don't have enough blocking power in your highlight region with inkjet, on palladium, it, it's a rough paper, it's Arches Platine that we're using. So the paper kind of is forgiving. But if you're using a silver gelatin paper, which is a Barta paper, clay coated, and it's very, very smooth and renders all tones, you may have issues trying to hold highlight detail smooth and clean. So for that, we use film on our Lambda exposing unit, and we, we do custom runs for people uh, using that. 